All right, now let's focus on uh, the fight going on in the party, not, not the Republican Party, not all those candidates and what they do about Donald Trump. I'm talking about the Democratic Party. You know, they're having some little uh, nasty tiffs back and forth, but you wouldn't know it watching the mainstream media. But they're already arguing about the debates, a number of them, whether Hillary Clinton is getting a pass, uh, is all that fair, is all that right, and is the media being fair when it, uh, when it comes to focusing on party discord? Sabrina Schaefer says more debates would in fact help Hillary Clinton. Steve, those are Democratic strategists here as well. Steve, what do you make of that? Is the media ignoring what's going on uh, in, in the Democratic Party? Because some of the lesser candidates, as they're known, including Governor O'Malley, are saying this is not fair or right. This is all trumped up to help Hillary. What do you think? Trump is the exact word there, because that's what's happening with the media. Trump is sucking all of the energy and, and air out of the room. And it's actually hurting Hillary, because I think Hillary, if she was put on the stage with Bernie Sanders and O'Malley and all the rest, I think she's much more statesmanlike. Um, I think that her views are much more mainstream, for instance, than Bernie Sanders. And um, not getting her on that screen allows all the other things that people want to say about her to take no, center well, stage. No, that's a, that's a very fair point. But, Sabrina, what do you make of that? It doesn't really address the question as to whether Democrats have their own internal struggles having nothing to do with Donald Trump. But what do you think? Well, I'm sure they absolutely do. But look, I'm, I'm with Stephen on this. I, I, I'm no fan of Hillary Clinton, but the reality is that in politics, it all comes down to the flow of information. And right now, there's not much attention on Hillary Clinton. And when there is, it's all sort of been this one-sided flow of negative attention on, on Benghazi, on the email yep. scandal, on her foundation. She needs to control this narrative. She needs to reframe the debate. And more debate and more you know, coverage in the media is only going to help her, I think. Well, you know, you could also use the other argument, Steve, that it helps her. If there are people going to, you know, focus fairly or not on the theater around what the Republicans are messing with, uh, she can look statesmanlike talking about, you know, a big education initiative, uh, expensive as it is, talk about how, uh, you know, the candidates have to all account for their own positions on things like, uh, you know, abortion, as she did to target Marco Rubio that she could step back and say, I'm, I'm still doing my thing, even if they're trapped in this Ringling Brothers thing. What do you well, think? the problem is, though, is that these Republicans are taking advantage of this national stage of the debates to just take big swings at her, one after the other. I Probably 15 out of the 17 Republicans on stage. Is that the first stage. time that has ever happened, Steve? Come on. No. No, but you know what? If she had the <laughs> same kind of exposure, if she had the opportunity of, of, of the stage of a national debate to refute that claims, I think she'd be much better off. She had over 20 well, debates yeah. with Barack Obama in 2000. She's very so you think the lack that? of debates, so whether it's geared by the party or not, is hurting her now? If they're okay. trying to do that to help her, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, no, that's an interesting point. What do you think, Sabrina? Yeah, and I think there's so much distrust around the whole Clinton dynasty, so to speak, that the, you know, the better for her is to be able to be out there and to, to give her own story, to tell her own narrative, to really put her own agenda out there. Frankly, the GOP should be taking a card from this. You know, they should be looking at what's going on with the Trump situation and saying, hey, the, the best way to take the, the, you know, the wind out of Trump's sails is for another candidate to step up and really talk about their policy prescriptions. Hillary Clinton very much has that opportunity, um, and, and there's a lot of people who will be looking for her. But we, you know, look, the next debate is in September, she's going to have that opportunity. All right. It's just a matter of time. We're getting impatient, right. I guess, in the press. Guys, thank you both very, <laughs> very you, much. Neil. We're talking about the sell-off going on. Apple, well, it's a correction territory now, just when it was clawing back to try to get some respect ahead of a big powwow where they're going to make some announcements. But to hear my next guest tell it, none that are going to move this stock. In fact, actually keep it drifting away after this.